So when you get to the mission with Skurlock and Skull and Bones to go and find the Royal Louis, this is going to be a lot tougher than taking down your merchants and your broadsiders and things like that that you find early in the game. So what I recommend doing is if you go to the rough sort of area where the Royal Louis is, you're going to find a couple of islands. You'll see on the map it says Islands of the Moon, but if you look at this image I'm going to put up on screen now, you want to go to Dragon's Back. You want to unlock this outpost so that if you do get sunk by the Royal Louis, this is going to be a spawn point that's a lot closer than anywhere else. You will be able to easily spot the Royal Louis because there's going to be a ship that's firing off a load of fireworks. And that's sort of like your indication to say you're in the right spot to find the Royal Louis. But when it comes to taking down the Royal Louis, what I recommend is just using the standard cannons. Like you can use any weapons, but I use the base like level one beginning culverins. And what you want to do is keep an eye on your health. That's one of the most important things. You'll see it at the bottom left. You've got the white bar. And make sure you have repair kits available because you're going to be hit hard. And it's not just the Royal Louis that's going to attack you. There will be other ships in the area. But one thing to pay attention to when you're attacking in this game is if you are front on, you can use your cannons at the front. And then you'll see dotted lines. You'll see one to the left and one to the right. And once you pass those, you can use the cannons on the side of your ship. So I recommend firing your front cannons on your front on, then turn to the side, fire your side ones, then go back to the front ones and basically just alternate between the front and the side cannons to deal as much damage as possible. When you get around halfway through the fight, you will be able to fire your muskets. And I recommend doing that because it deals increased damage. But all you want to do is just keep plowing like cannon after cannon into the Royal Louis. And eventually you will get it to a point where you can crew board or you can just if you want to you can just take it down but it's very very simple once you're using the front and the side cannons to deal with a good amount of damage but as i said it's really important to pay attention to your health because the, like keeping yourself alive is the most important thing in this fight and the royal louis will obliterate you if you're not careful and once you take down the royal louis you will get the karadek bounty map and i covered this in a video during the closed beta but some people have have said that the location for the treasure has changed so it's on the exact same island the exact same area so if you want to go and watch that video you can but instead of following the route i originally took if it's not there the other area i found for the karadek like treasure is as soon as you disembark off your ship if you go to the far left there's going to be this little sort of section that takes you around to the right side it's on the far left side as soon as you disembark and if you just follow that around the stone with the markings on should be there and as far as I'm aware, those are the only two locations the treasure can actually spawn. The original one I did in the Karadek Bounty video, and this one that I've explained to you guys in this video. But that is the mission done. Once you've got the treasure, you go back to Skurlock, and you continue your adventures in Skull and Bones. So what we're going to do is leave the video there. Let me know your thoughts and stuff about the Royal Louis fight in the comments. I will see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helped you out. Thank you for watching.